Hi everyone, how are you? Happy Monday! So, I want to actually show you how to use a beauty blender. I've already wet this up. But uh, before I do my foundation with the beauty blender and a concealer and contouring and tell you the do's and don'ts of the beauty blender, I, I'm just going to quickly do my eyes. Um, I'm keeping it quite simplified, I'm just going to do two shades which is grey and baby pink. So I'm going to blend those two shades on my eyes and so i'm using this palette it's called the nude palette so my focus today is on actually um the beauty blender i want to show you but might as well i will just do my eyes it's a very and i'm just going with the silver gray shade on top of it by the way, greys are my favorite. It's like if I'm not doing a look, I just love to do grey eyes. So, and it's fast for me because I'm, I just know what shades I'm mixing. Beautiful shade. So I applied the baby pink on my lid before just to create that base of mixed shades it's like a ash gray on my eyes and a little bit on the edge the darker so i just used this nice rose gold pink in the inner corner and that didn't get recorded i'm sorry i thought i pressed it but I didn't okay so after I do this I'm going to show you get to beauty blend apart just okay it's nice and gray and nice weather outside um, I'm one of those categories of people probably who believe um glasses half full so for me this weather is beautiful my second espresso of the day so i'm just doing my mascara i'm using the legit lashes from huda and so my eyes are done you know and then we just do the face and we're good to go then so i really wanted to share the do's and don'ts of beauty blender and the benefits of it so a lot of people have questions i just decided to share more a little more on beauty blender so by the way we were i was really hoping every the unlock happened and i was hoping for our industry sector to open considering cinemas and malls and everything opened in the amusement sector so yeah we didn't open um, but again I said as I say that we are like we are literally my dad me and we see half plus four so we're being positive but it's just that I feel for all the employees out there were you know team members and colleagues were waiting to get back and everybody's livelihoods you know are on a pause and sticking so positive it's it's just unbelievable so testing times like this really proves our inner strength and our high life state and i think when your high life state is there you can come across any situation in life so that's a kind of my motto so let's get going with the beauty blender I'm using um, Urban Decay foundation. I already used the uh, primer and I used the same Urban Decay primer on my face. I wet my blender. So make sure that the beauty blender is uh, wet before you apply. So you have that flawless foundation look on your face, kind of the spray foundation look. So um, 
it's important if the beauty blender is not wet let me show you okay you can probably just see the difference this is hard to press this is really soft to press my hands are very clean and these are stains of the foundation i really have cleaned them i clean them pretty much every day so um so you see this is very hard so when you're applying it's gonna eat your foundation and it's not gonna sit on your skin it's like something hard you apply your makeup with on your face and your face is so soft and your skin is so soft you need something soft and uh, very um good to apply with and soft so you know you really like can blend it pretty well and that's the end. so now i'm just going to in the bottom of the round part and i'm going with my um, foundation i went with like one and a half press pump and i'm just gonna slightly go all over i don't like to take it on my fingers and then on my face or use another applicator like a brush while i'm using a beauty blender because you're just like uh using multiple um equipment and you don't need it so when you don't need it so you don't really have to use it and we want the makeup to be efficient and time efficient and not like using multiple things in the fast So, um, so I'm dabbing it. Dab, 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 dab. So now, I, the technique I'm using it, I'm just dabbing it. Never, never, never when go like these. Don't drag it. Because you're just wiping your product which you're applying. And that's neither going to give you the look of the flawless foundation. And you're going to waste products which doesn't make sense um, so the technique it's pretty easy it's wet and you have your foundation on it and it's so soft right now that my eye, okay. that it's like I'm massaging on my face <laughs> So I have it. It's up to you to go on your neck with the left toe. <laughs> My voice is so funny. <laughs> okay. So you can go on your neck with the left over on the blender. No, stop and I talk. So um ta that's the flawless foundation with the blender. So I like to use this shape because now i'm going to use a concealer and i'm using to use the contouring both cream based and i'm going to use the same blender so pretty much with one equipment which is the beauty blender you are able to complete your foundation routine there we go and now i'm going to use the smiley face side and I'm taking the Huda Beauty. I used the um sorry, which one did I use? I used the Estee Lauder Long Wear Double Wear Instant Fix Concealer before this, and I'm using the Huda Beauty for my highlighting uh, concealer. And I'm using the same uh, beauty blender, and I'm using just the similar same side, and just going over it. I'm using the cream based contouring and everything has come together now brownie poems and I'm gonna use the nowadays you're seeing all the red lipstick being used as a blush i'm not going to do that today because it's another level i'll share those techniques but right now i'm just using another from o2 liquid blush a beautiful rosy rose color and this is how it is and this is the blender so i'm using this part of the blender which is available and i have not used and my last i'm using the maybelline new york master strobing cream and I'm just going 
so that is gonna add the glow Great. So we're done with the highlighting concealer we're done with the um, concealer I'll I'm gonna blend it with the same blender so um, any cream base you can go for pen you can go for the cream pot contouring and I'm going to use the other side of the face and, and it's quite strong so to blend it I need to press it it's not as liquidy as the foundation so you gotta press sorry but I think the internet connection just went um, so I couldn't show you this part but pretty much I pressed it and I dabbed so how flawless everything right now I'm just using another from O2 liquid blush a beautiful rosy rose color and this is how it is and this is the blender so I'm using this part of the blender which is available and I have not used so I took like little drop you can see how tiny that is and I'm gonna pat it here and then here and then I just go on dab 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 and my last I'm using the Maybelline New York Master Strobing Cream and I'm just going so that is gonna add the glow the glow I love and you love and everybody else loves it's all about the glow healthy glowing skin we all love that don't we Let's do the highlighting part. Alright, so there we go. It's up to you to use the powder blush on top of it. I'm not going to use that today. I'm just going to leave that here. I'm just going to spray my makeup fixer. So I wish you guys a lovely week. A week of excitement and surprises. <laughs> so this is how you use a beauty blender do wash it after you've used it for the next day um, and uh, with one product you can actually do your whole